We do have breaking news tonight. A death investigation now underway in Lawrence County. The coroner says they've responded to East Carolina Avenue. Our Kelsey O'Donnell standing by live at that scene right now with everything she's learned so far. Kelsey. Well, Gordon, Amy, a much quieter scene now than when we spoke with you just about an hour ago. If you take a look behind me here, there's still a handful of law enforcement agents and investigators out here investigating inside of this home. Now, I want to show you some video from earlier. Just about two hours ago, this road was lined with officers from Clinton Police, the Lawrence County Sheriff's Office, SLED, SWAT units, and a number of people were watching nearby as well. Police tell us they were called to this home shortly after noon for an unresponsive man. When they arrived to investigate, they say a man was found dead inside, along with another armed man who barricaded himself inside of that home. Police tell us that's when SWAT was called in. During that standoff, tear gas was deployed before law enforcement entered the home, later arresting that man inside. So as you can imagine, a very busy scene out here with law enforcement. We spoke with a resident who watched it all unfold today. I'm really concerned because like I used to know the girl that's over there. So when they pulled a guy out of the house, I was like, so who's the guy? Like, it's just wow. I mean, I'm not too too scared because hopefully the cops will handle the situation. But like, it's just shocking. And the man who was found dead inside of this home today has not yet been identified, nor has the man who was arrested. It's still unclear at this hour how he plays a role into this case and what he has been arrested for. But of course, we are continuing to keep you updated and we'll bring you the latest details right here on air and online at WSPA.com. Live in Clinton, Kelsey O'Donnell, 7 News.